one of tens of thousands of things can go wrong with catastrophic results. But all that can be done to assure perfection has been done. The moment is at hand. The countdown reaches zero. Since 1958, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, has brought the mysteries of the cosmos down to Earth. NASA's pioneering lunar missions, groundbreaking scientific discoveries, and advanced space-based observatories have established it as the world's leading space program. But how did it all begin? At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Army's Jupiter-C rocket is ready for America's second attempt to launch a space satellite. In the mid-1950s, amidst the burgeoning Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union sought to develop rockets powerful enough to launch satellites into low Earth orbit, kicking off the two-decade space race. In 1958, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a law establishing NASA, consolidating several established programs to streamline U.S. civilian efforts in space exploration following the Soviet Union's launch of the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. As the Soviets charged ahead, launching a dog, a scientific satellite, and finally a man into orbit, the U.S. responded with Explorer 1, a satellite that discovered Earth's Van Allen radiation belts. To achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced an ambitious plan to land a man on the moon by 1970 with the Apollo program, an effort that would involve 5% of the U.S. workforce. The space race officially ended in 1975 when a U.S. Apollo spacecraft docked with a Soviet Soyuz, culminating in a historic handshake between the two commanders. Building on the Mariner program's probes to study Venus, Mars, and Mercury, NASA sent Voyager 1 and 2 in the late 1970s to capture photographs of the outer gas and ice giants. These probes still operate today beyond the heliosphere, the region influenced by our sun's solar winds. To reduce launch costs in the 1980s, NASA developed five partially reusable space shuttles. These shuttles conducted over 130 missions to launch satellites, deliver modules to orbital stations, and conduct experiments. Tragically, mid-flight explosions in 1986 and 2003 claimed the lives of 14 astronauts. In the 1990s, NASA collaborated with Russia, Japan, Canada, and Europe to build the Modular International Space Station in low Earth orbit. This station has been continuously inhabited for over two decades by nearly 300 people, serving as a hub for space experiments. To observe the cosmos, NASA has launched several space-based observatories equipped with high-tech radiation sensing tools. The most famous of these, the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescope, have captured some of the world's most iconic space images. Looking ahead, NASA's next big project is the Artemis program, which aims to return a more diverse cast of humans to the moon via the Orion spacecraft atop the massive space launch system. The goal is to explore more of the lunar surface and build the first permanent human habitation there before setting sights on Mars. From its humble beginnings in the space race to its current ambitions of returning to the moon and beyond, NASA continues to push the boundaries of space exploration.